Good morning, it is day three of our Mongolian tour. How'd you sleep last night? Yeah, I slept well. Yeah, it was really warm here actually. So right now we're in the Semi Gobi Desert, which is in the center of Mongolia. And like we showed you yesterday, it's where grasslands, mountains, and sand dunes all come together and meet. It's breathtaking. I mean, just coming out of the gear this morning, you just kind of forget where you are when you're in the tent and then you open it up and it's just lovely and there's horses still, camels, <coughs> the mm. shepherds have taken the sheep away. I don't know where they've gone. I can see a pack of horses over there and right near the dunes, just walking around. Oh yeah, yeah, just doing their own thing. This is also where three states meet in Mongolia. So there's yeah. three states and um, they all intersect yeah. around this point. And the gear that we're staying at tonight is kind of like their motel. So there's a really um, busy highway just in the distance there and as people come if they need a place to stay they just pull off and pay for a gear for the night so Mongolian motel yeah. <laughs> and today we're off to uh, Pearl Lake I think it was a bit of a dry winter so I'm not sure how full the lake is gonna be or what it's gonna be like but if the weather is like this I reckon we can have a swim yeah I think so yeah <laughs> While we've been on tour, our tour guide has been cooking all of our meals and she's been really accommodating to the fact that we're vegetarian and the meals have been delicious. So this morning we've got some cheesy toast, some bread, some chocolate spread, coffee, this is important, and we're having some leftovers from last night's dinner which is like a pasta, tofu, vegetable type of dish. Uh, the other things we've been having are like um, eggs and tomato, salad with some pickles. She's made um, some seaweed rice and some vegetables for dinner. We have not gone hungry and the food has been cooked fresh every single meal. I don't know how she does it. She has a one little burner and she'll cook multiple things for a meal and it all comes out hot. She's definitely talented and the food has been great. <laughs> just left the camp and we are now at Kakarum, which is the original capital of Mongolia. We're about to go inside the fencing and check it out. <laughs> Chengiz Khan built this city, Kakarum, in 1220 and it was a link between the east and the west so a lot of trade was done here. So it's uh, got a, a lot of history in this place and we're going to go around and check out all of the older buildings. Kakarum was one of the biggest cities in the world in the 13th century. Unfortunately, the palaces were destroyed by the Chinese. And afterwards, in the 17th century, it became a monastery. So the buildings behind me here are actually monastery buildings. They're not what the palaces looked like. We're going to see the turtle sculpture, which is one of the last remaining items um, of Karkarum. This turtle statue has been here since Karkarum was first built over 800 years ago. It hasn't moved its spot. It's one of the only things that is original. It's this little guy is keeping guard. Uh, he's called a turtle, but he kind of looks a little bit like a tiger or a lion. Yeah. 
we've just stopped on our way to the campsite and this tree is apparently a good fortune tree as you can see people have tied all of these blue silk around the fence to bring themselves good fortune Good evening. <laughs> Good evening. We have an update for you. Today has been crazy. It's been epic. We um so our tour guide, he's obviously from Mongolia. He's from central Mongolia, which is pretty much where our tour is. And today he surprised us by taking us to his brother's house, his brother's farm. And we obviously didn't film because we were invited into someone's personal home for lunch and that just would have been weird. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't but. quite appropriate to be filming. Um, we did get a bit of footage of the surrounding area. Of the outside. And... But it was just amazing. So we went in and uh, they have these yaks on the property and they had fresh yak butter, which we had with these Mongolian breads uh, and some hot milk. These are the yaks that we had the butter and the milk from just before for lunch. So, thanks to these guys, we've had our lunch. <laughs> and then they had their normal like meat noodle soup lunch, and they made us like a sweet, um, like, like a sweet rice, creamy rice. Yeah. yeah. So they made us a special meal, which was really nice. They were very hospitable. They were so hospitable yeah. and just welcomed these complete strangers in. Yeah. Leaving the property, it really dawned on me just where we are and what we're doing. We were on this main road and then the, our tour um, a driver, he just kind of went off the main road and we drove across fields for, for a good like half 10... Half an hour? Yeah. Maybe not quite. 10, 15 minutes, I think it was. A bumpy road. <laughs> I don't know how he knew where we, where he was going. Well, he did grow up there. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he grew up there. But we, we, I really just realised that we are in the centre of Mongolia right now. And we are going to these really remote rural places in the middle of nowhere. There's just nothing around. Except amazing scenery. It's stunning yeah and, and it's very diverse uh, as well so this morning is. we we left um, sand dunes we're in sort of the uh, semi gobi area mm -hmm. so we had sand dunes um, open plains and then by later this afternoon there were mountains um, yeah uh, rivers yeah we we actually encountered a, a thunderstorm yeah. so we didn't see the lightning when we we're at his brother's house a thunderstorm just rolled in <laughs> There's little pockets of sun shining through yeah. and there were just horses grazing with the yaks and goats and sheep and um, it was it was this is why we're doing this these experiences that we had today it's it's why we it's why we're doing it mm. so, so sorry we don't have footage of any of this but it was just something that we wanted to enjoy yeah and be in the moment for. So we're really starting to understand the culture here. Yeah, so. Get an insight into the way people live. Mm. Our tour guide was saying that with the flocks uh, of the animals that they have here, if the flocks keep moving to another field, then they will leave their home and follow them. That's mm. the whole nomad lifestyle. The true nomads. Yeah, and we went past um, our driver's other brother's house and he said, Oh, there's no one at that house because they've followed the flock into the mountains. Yeah. <laughs> they just give up their home and follow the follow the flock into the mountains. It's pretty wild. They just have yeah. such respect for the land and for the animals mm. and for each other. It really is like you don't know who's friends and who's family because everyone is just 
kind to each other and helping each other it's yeah. unlike anything that I've experienced it's it's definitely life changing <laughs> so we've got a couple of nights at this place which again is amazingly beautiful <laughs> <laughs> a little chilly so it's, oh yeah it's, it's summer but it's uh, definitely breezy yeah we did want to swim in the lake and we were hoping for warm weather but mm. it kind of gets cold at night but during the day it's fine so tomorrow we're going uh, horseback riding and neither of us have ever <laughs> been on a horse and we're going to hop on some Mongolian horses <laughs> for a three hour uh, horse ride there's uh, old volca volcanoes in this area so quite mountainous yeah I'm really looking forward to that yeah it's about time I rode a horse yeah <laughs> well I was apprehensive about the camel ride and that was perfectly fine that was so peaceful so, they're actually kind of graceful aren't they yeah Camels. so I think the the horse ride will be fine yeah yeah well that's what happened today <laughs> all right well we're gonna go back to the girl mm -hmm. before the fire goes out yeah gotta keep the fire going we'll, uh, see you tomorrow see you tomorrow